So anywhere around here, we call that. So you can crank it. Oh, look at the whole bed slides. Pants. Pants nimble. Slow ride. And that will literally like just dump the material straight, almost yeah, so straight off. This is right here. Instead, we have a collar sleeve that we use. And we so here it is right here. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. Hey, check this out. The NATDA, which I think stands for the National Association of Trailer Dealers Association, welcomes trailer dealers and any operating dealers such as RV, auto, marine, power sports, heavy equipment, and agricultural machinery that has a brick and mortar location where trailers, truck beds, or similar components are sold, rented, or maintained. But look at this. Let me scroll down here. Public, the 2021 NATD trailer show is not open to the public. This is a tough show to get into, so let's go get into it. This is a cool way to unload your trailer. Essentially, this is a base model. We got a hand crank option where you can convey material in, palletize material in. So you can crank it. Oh, look at the whole bed slides. I didn't even notice that. So you've got the conveyor system built right into it. Correct. Yeah, the sides are removable, so you can uh, load from the side. We do have a hydraulic and electric option as far as driving it. So How much does a unit like this one cost? This, the base model is just under 10,000 retail. Okay. And uh, then if you go hydraulic, I'm guessing another two, three thousand. Yeah. Or am it'll I wrong? be it'll be around two thousand for the hydraulic upgrade. For the hydraulic upgrade. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. What sizes are available in these things? Oh, this is another one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this one here, we've had this unit out for uh, six years. Um, this is a brand new entry level, uh, lower price model. Okay. So this one here, you can haul equipment in, you can haul mini skid, uh, skid steers, minis, uh, loose material, bulk material, uh, pallets, and it does the same thing. What happens if you damage the conveyor? Uh, it is replaceable. Okay. Um, it takes about a, a little over an hour to swap out a bill. Oh. So pretty quick. I'd um, say. And it is chain driven, so we're able to pull uh, 7,500 pounds of pull force in and out. So if you have, have a piece of equipment or you have a tree or something that you want to pull in and you don't have equipment there, you can lower the trailer down to the ground and actually pull it up in. Um, well, what do you mean lower the trailer down to the so ground? This will this one will tilt right down. Oh, to the you'll ground. tilt. Wait a minute. So this will drop right to the ground. Yeah, it's a tilt deck trailer. Correct. Okay, so it's just like any tilt deck trailer except it'll go right on the ground. Yeah. You can uh, roll your equipment right in that way. Yeah, drive right in. No ramps or anything. You just drive in. But if it's if you have a piece of equipment that's down, say you have a skid steer that's out of fuel or whatever, there's something wrong. Yep. You back up to it. You can hook a chain to the D ring and actually physically just haul it right up in. Right here, right there. Yeah. So they've got a center D ring. What's the name of this trailer? This is an ANTS. Um, it stands for Advanced Nimble Trailer System. Um, it's a 1416 trailer. Um, that's our model number. Um, it's hydraulic. It's got a Honda engine up front. Okay. Run through the back, right? Yeah, I would love to. For sure. And ants. Advanced nimble trailer system. So okay. Right here, just kind of as we move forward, this is where we store chains, binders, everything for equipment hauling can get stored right here. Mm. Um, 
We run a Honda GX390. You, you, you've already got a bolt for me on that one. So then he goes on to tell me that these trailers were designed for extreme temperature fluctuations and that they were built and tested up in the far north. But the far north doesn't mean the same to everybody, so I wanted to find out exactly what he was talking about. And hey, if these videos like this help you out, the thumbs up goes a long way. The north. Let's see what north means. Where, where are you from? The Upper Peninsula of Michigan. All right, you got me beat. All right, I bow down. You are a fellow brother of the snow. Yeah. <laughs> and ice and yeah. salt. 300 inches plus a year. Shut up. Hope, Michigan, yeah. I usually don't tell people I don't know to shut up, but 300 inches of snow, dude. Yeah, yeah the, the, I think the 10 year average is over 250. There we go. It's snow covered. If you're into snowmobile, I'm still up there. Huh, I'd say. Ice fishing. So, yeah, I see you guys got a nice heavy duty hitch on there, or a chain on that for sure. So, with this, we've had, had it out on the market for six years. We have had zero failures. We've had zero issues. It just works. We've frozen the bed right to the crate. So you've intentionally okay, so you froze your bed to the trailer. Right to the side. Side. Oh, correct. Yeah. Well, you guys don't mess around. Do you? No. Well, we're contractors. We, we, uh, it's got to work. Excuse us. I love guys that um, beat the heck out of their own equipment just to make sure that it works for the guys that are going out to buy it. I love that. I mean, that that. That's in my mind, that speaks volume. Yeah. Dude, it speaks volume. We we've got a full trailer control system right here. Um, you can control the bed in and out, the tilt function up and down. Um, also, we do a handheld remote. So while you're in the cab of your skid steer and you have a load of gravel, you can pull up in your remote, start the machine, dump material right in, go run it. You know, so it's very clean, um, very little debris on the ground. We have the ability where we can pull the safety stop out of the way and compress the cylinder, which what that does is it actually raises the rear of the trailer up. So kind of bear with me, if you shrink that, this lowers the rear of the trailer goes up. The advantage of that is if you're on a tight site or you're wanting to make tall piles, not long piles, you can just keep pushing the material uphill and just keep stacking material. I get what you're saying. So you can actually make the trailer, instead of go like this, go more vertical and that will literally like just dump the material straight, almost yeah, so straight off. This is the trailer. Um, well, we're able to drop the front, which raises the rear up. Mm -hmm. And so now when we convey the material up, your pile is really short but tall. Right. So if you're in a, a tight site or anything like that. Or... This is our how we wire all of our trailer. It might be easier to let come, but we run conduit to all, every light. And wires inside the conduit. No splicing. Really, really do a quality job. You don't have any open wires. You have them all inside a conduit. Yeah. On this next segment, guys, I wanted to include something for you guys that didn't live within the city limits and maybe had to travel a long way to go find trailer parks. I found an organization that you can order online and then they'll bring everything you need right to you. And I'm not talking about just like little lights and little things, but I'm talking about big things like axles. So I went into their booth to check them out next. Well, tell me a little bit about these axles. Well, you said they're 40%. 40% stronger. So and your general axles have a butt weld right here. Instead, we have a collar sleeve that we use and we weld that together. So a lot more contact, you're not taking off you know, beveling this to add more strength, you're adding strength to what's already strong. Okay. So we seven year warranty, uh, 3.5K to 8K camber and straight, ready to go. And drop. Four inch and, drop. And drop. Four inch drops as well. So this is the actual web address, the yes, trailerpartsoutlet.com. So if these guys want more information, is that the best place to go? Or is that is another? absolutely one of the best places. Okay. And you guys offer a full service of other parts and equipment, not just axles? Anything and everything. Okay. If we don't have it, we will find it and get it to you. We're the Amazon of Charles Parts, A to Zero. 
All right, trailerpartsoutlet.com. Keeper, thank you, sir. Always a pleasure. Perfect for you guys that may not have a brick and mortar store close by, or if you're ordering online, I wanted to include something to give you guys just more options. Here's another, here's another option for you guys. All right, guys, that's going to call it for this one. But again, if you guys like videos like this, hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you think in the comments down below. But we've got another trailer video coming out tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. It's going to be awesome because it's a floating gooseneck trailer. What are you talking about, Dirt Mikey? What I'm talking about is you've got a gooseneck and then you've got the actual trailer bed and where the trailer connects to the gooseneck there's an airbag system, so they float completely separate. And I'm not going to make you wait that long. I'm going to put it out tomorrow. Am I going to put it out tomorrow? Do you want me to put it out tomorrow? All right, if you guys want it tomorrow, I'll put it out tomorrow. Oh, hey, one other thing, you guys. I've been doing shorts for you. So here's the schedule for you guys. Monday, Wednesday, Friday full length videos. I'm not going to ever take that away from you guys. Tuesday and Thursday, normally when I don't do anything at all, I've been throwing shorts in of all the coolest stuff. You know, little snippets, 30 seconds of a cool piece of equipment, a minute of something that I haven't seen before. So you guys, let me know if you like those and I'll keep doing those for you. But I want to hear from you. If you want more, if you want that floating gooseneck thing tomorrow, I'll put it out tomorrow. God bless. Go get them, you guys. Catch you later. Have a good one, you guys.